Hi Taylor, this is Rebecca with your Assignment 1 Travel Poster Critique. So you did a great job with choosing um, a wonderful location as well as doing all the requirements on the spec sheet. So great work there. Um, I think that your pen skills uh, look pretty good. There, I, I see like, you know, that you had to trace a lot of little tiny itty bitty things and so I know that that can be tedious and take some time and I found the original image for this and you know you did it justice it's good um, the only thing about this image is that uh, I think that um, showing like a more close-up view of people enjoying this lagoon would have brought a little bit more um, scale to this to the scene as well as um, just added like better perspective because because of the limited uh, color pot palette that you know I made everybody choose it doesn't show like all of the details um, through here that really show like the iciness of this blue lagoon um, and the image itself I mean uh, there was no detail in all these rocks around here it was like so dark it was just such a contrasty image um, that there wasn't really much room for you to put that in there so it feels very flat and it's not any of your skills yourself it's just the original image um, didn't have those options for you so um, that's the only thing like to keep in mind for your future for future assignments I'm not asking you to redo this by any means because I, I know that it took a long time and and you know you did everything right um, just next you know when you're when you're creating landscapes and things it's always great to have something large in the foreground to kind of give perspective um, to add interesting perspective oops sorry about that Boop. to add interesting perspective and to um, give something give more you know visual interest to the viewer something to kind of focus on and then see all the wonder around it um, the only thing that I see that could be improved upon in this image um, is that this right here is actually not true black. Uh, these over here are true black, and this happens sometimes in Illustrator um, where you click on a black swatch but it's not completely black. So um, that's the only thing. Uh, other than that, you know, just keep in mind when, when you know, drawing landscapes and stuff that if you could add something that has, some, you know, something. A subject or an object in the foreground to give the rest of it some perspective it'll be just a little bit more visually interesting um, other than that keep you did a great job with your pen tool um, a great great job following instructions and oh you know what I don't think this word is also totally black either now that I'm looking at it the word Iceland so check that out as well but keep up the great work and the hard work you're doing great